It's the most common vector-borne disease in the Northern Hemisphere and in, in North America, in the United States specifically. And Lyme disease is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi. It's also caused by Borrelia meonii, which we help to identify here at Mayo Clinic. So that is one of our big concerns, but it's not the only concern. There's also other tick-borne diseases like anaplasmosis, babesiosis, Powassan virus, uh, Borrelia miyamotoi, and those are just diseases transmitted by the black-legged tick, formerly known as the deer tick. There are other ticks out there as well. So we have other ticks that will transmit the disease-causing agents of ehrlichiosis. Uh, now there's new things like bourbon virus and heartland virus. There's also Rocky Mountain spotted fever. It uh, swept through the United States back in the 90s and now is found throughout the United States, transmitted by a number of different types of mosquitoes, but specifically by one called Culex mosquitoes. Um, in many people, it can be completely asymptomatic or maybe cause just a mild illness, but in some patients, it can cause a swelling of the brain and spinal cord, and it can be very serious, if not fatal. For example, we have a lot of deer, and the deer right now uh, love our habitat that we've provided for them, our second growth forests. Instead of clearing fields for agriculture, for example, we have small groups of trees, uh, little areas of second growth forest uh, in between houses. That's a great environment for deer and for rodents, and those happen to be hosts for ticks. So it has to do with the hosts in nature, and by that I mean the animals that the ticks feed on. It has to do with the weather. It also has to do with human behavior. If we go out into the woods and go hiking, we're putting ourselves at potential risk. And that's something that we all like to do is go out and enjoy nature, which we should, and we should continue to do so. We just need to do it in a safe way. I would tell parents not to panic, to take things into perspective. The diseases and the risks are out there. They are real, but there's things that are easily done to prevent tick bites and mosquito bites and thereby pre preventing disease. So by all means, sign your kid up for that little league game, um, but make sure that if your children are outdoors and might get bitten by mosquitoes, for example, while on the ball field, then they should have an insect or a, a tick repellent on them. Um, if they're going to be uh, hiking through the woods, again, maybe have them tuck their pants into their socks, do a tick check when they come in from the great outdoors. Make sure they don't have any ticks attached to them. And so if their child comes down with a fever in the summertime, for example, that's a sign of a possible tick-borne disease or mosquito-borne, and then they can bring their child to the doctor.